Don't worry. Even if we end up dying here, I won't let it happen to you first. Well, you're just as good at comforting people as Mr. Mozu. None of you are part of the Ten Lords Commission, so sacrificing yourselves isn't the right move. As a judge, it's my responsibility to guard this prison, and if someone should step up to stop Hule from escaping, it should be me, not you. Once we reach the gate, I hope you'll help me seal it. After that, I'll do everything I can to fight the Borison. Do you find a safe place to hide and wait for reinforcements? Now, let's proceed upward. We must seal the entrance before the Boris and fugitives get out. The prison wardens and mechanisms won't be able to hold them for long. Follow me.
almost there. The gate is just ahead. There are many fugitives. Please be careful, Your Honor. The fugitives are charging at the gate. Please be careful, Your Honor. Stream four. I will hold them back. Don't let Hule escape.
My lord, we're just one step away from freedom. Once we pass through the gate, no one will be able to stop us. <sighs> so this hostage is useless now. Kill him, Mock Talk. He's getting away. Do something, Zhao Cho. It's just like the old days, you useless loser. Just do something! Maybe this Yao Qing messenger can strike a deal in exchange for his life. He can use his status to help us escape from the Xianzhou. What do you think, Mr. Jiao Zhou? <laughs> oh, just look at you. Fallen so low during my absence. You're even negotiating with livestock. As far as I recall, no one from the Yao Qing would ever consider a deal with Duran's offspring. I've got to make this beast stay here, whether it's for the sake of Fei Xiao or the Yao Qing. Deal. I certainly have more value alive. My identity, my knowledge of the Xianzhou, and my understanding of many things that your minions have no knowledge of. They'll all be valuable. <laughs> Lowly beast. Muster up that pitiful tongue of yours and plead for what remains of your life. Speak up. I'm afraid you're unaware. The woman who defeated you, Jing Liu, she has recently returned to the Law Fu. Your opportunity for revenge is right in front of you. <sighs> My lord, this slave is talking nonsense. I've never heard anything about this. May I just kill him now? Silence, Mok Talk. And you, slave. From now on, you'll stay by my side. You'll only speak and move when I allow you to. Otherwise, I'll dismember you from head to tail, inch by inch. Got it? But, my lord... We must stay here for some time, Mock Talk. Fear not, because once I step out of the prison, it's the people of the Sienjo who should tremble in fear. I'll show them what true calamity means. Now, Durad's wealth, follow me! Contact with the Shackling Prison. We received a message from a Psycrane. The prisoners have revolted, and the criminal Hule is nowhere to be found. What about the Yaoqing messengers and the Nameless? Uh, no news at the moment. We're trying to restore contact with the Shackling Prison as soon as possible. I see. 
You're dismissed. General Jing Yuan, General Hua Yan, it's just as we suspected. The rise of the Ambrosial Arbor was not the end of things, but the beginning. The hand of the Ruin Legion has already sown the seeds of destruction. From this moment on, the Xianzhou Alliance will face an even greater challenge from both the abominations of abundance and the destruction itself. If this is what they want, I'm always up for a challenge. As the Marshal Special Envoy, I'll dispatch the Lawfu Cloud Knights to pursue Hule myself. Looks like the hidden drags have finally come to the surface. And as I said before, it's time to wash them away. Once and for all. Haven of memories. Every touch, every moment is like a thorned rose.
Illusions of the past. <laughs> 